Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. It is our pleasure to introduce Dr. Gail Tenenspach, who is Associate Vice President of Continuing and Distance Education at NJIT. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, talk to us about, you know, everyone talks about this thing called STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Correct. You talk about something called STEAM. Yes, I do. Which is what? We're adding an A in there for arts. Why? Steam. Because the whole area of anything dealing with liberal arts right. and fine arts and design arts all has a technology underpinning to it now, too. Everything in the world right now has a technology underpinning. Right. And so it's, the arts is part of the, the whole for example, equation. For example, yeah. give us an example of where the arts intersects with science, technology, engineering, and Architecture. Math. That's Arch arts. Absolutely. Go ahead. Um, writing. Writing. When you're doing the English and literature, the blogs that happen, that occur, where people are able to express themselves, analyze it, parse it, this is all done using technology. So the actual fundamentals of some of the liberal arts and architecture and design all have an art, art liberal arts, humanities underpinning to it. So most people are now adding A to that STEAM and STEM equation. Interesting, and I, and I look about, um, look at this whole question of continuing and distance learning. Who are those students? Well, it varies across the country, but the prime students even today, um, though I do believe it will change over time, are adults. They're working professionals who need to get upgraded, upskilled, because of the world has changed. The nature of what you need to know to be on top of your game. Oh, wait, hold on one second. We're looking at photos right here. Connect the dots between these photos and what sure, you're talking about. Sure. Absolutely so. For example, at NJIT, where uh, I am, we are developing a suite of 10 STEM and STEAM um, master's degrees. That's so at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. This is happening. Yes, but they're all online, and you. They're will, all online. That's what we're developing. We're talking about online today, I believe. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be there. You can be anywhere in the country, and you ask me who's studying and sure. why, and it's graduate. There's less hands-on when you're going on the graduate level. So indeed. You don't have to be there. You have to be at the site where you're going to build that sure. new bridge and that. Got to be there. The, but not the learning part. So the learning part, yes, we already have, for example, electrical engineering fully online, civil engineering fully online, computer science fully online. And going back to a little bit of that arts discussion and the new term STEAM, an MBA with a focus on technology, which really does go into some of the the more organizational humanities, social science kinds of things. Doctor, let me ask you, I'm curious about something. Sure. Um, one of the areas that you talked about, bringing manufacturing into the Northeast, robotics and 3D printing. Mm -hmm. An area that you're interested in, an area we're all interested in because we're looking to bring manufacturing jobs to the right. Northeast. Robotics and 3D printing. Where's the market? Oh. <laughs> Everything that is being made today, the stuff that's being made, is being made with much greater efficiency and productivity. And that's where robotics and high tech is coming in. So 3D printing, it, in the factories of today, it's these machines that take fewer individuals to operate, right. but more highly skilled individuals. Here's what I'm curious about. If we're talking about jobs, yes. and we're talking about bringing jobs to the Northeast, yeah. where we've lost so many, lost so oh, many jobs goodness, in terms of manufacturing, right. Absolutely. Those manufa the old manufacturing jobs may be impossible, if not very difficult to bring back. You're talking about bringing other jobs back, but you have to have certain skills right. in order to get those jobs. Right. And so there's your connection with online and blended classes. The new machines, blended? blended classes. There are many online courses are now made available in a flexible way where there is some element of hands-on learning. So let me bring you back sure. to the mechatronics and man manufacturing 
aspect. The, the, when you talk about additive manufacturing, um, 3D printers, robotics, sometimes the term being used as a area of study is called mechatronics. Hold on, Me oh boy, I can't I'm let you do it for you. Mechatronics? Mecha, mechanical <laughs> engineering. Are you ready? Mechanical um, engineering. Electrical engineering electrical. and IT. Mechatronics. And it is a well known <laughs> name, not in the general public. So and not public. in my head either, but go well, ahead. Well, now we're using this. Mechatronics, go This ahead. is a great vehicle to get that word out sure. there. But these are the new skills in a combined way. They're not three separate different areas you study that go into being able to use the incredibly advanced equipment wow. that men and women need to learn how to use. So that's why they need the STEAM and the STEM knowledge, which can be taught um, both in a classroom, it can be taught on the equipment, mm. that's the more blended that you're using sure. your hands, and it can in some areas be taught fully online. So I'm going for the MBA. Why, do I, why do I want the MBA with a techno technology focus? What is that? Because What's... every company in the world has an aspect of IT undergirding it. And if you don't know how to organize information, make decisions, they all take IT information technology tools that today's master degree people, mm. men and women, need to learn how to use. Since you talk about women. I would like how to are talk we, about How women. are women doing with the whole STEM thing, science, technology, engineering, and math? Are they behind in this area? The number of women studying STEM yes. is still an advanced or even less advanced way still borders around 25, 30% of the population. This is serious. Is it getting better? There is more opportunity, and with the addition of the areas with that A, the arts, arts you will be attracting more women because in, let's go back to manufacturing. Sure. In a, manufa a modern manufacturing plant, there are all kinds of jobs. You have to understand the manufacturing process, so there you're gonna do the STEM things. Right. But you could be also designing the website for that product. You could be doing the books. You can, um, you can be also helping with the design of the, the latest iPhone, <laughs> for example. Yes. Um, that's all about design. Lots of design. possibilities. Yeah. So. Dr. You love your work, I could tell. I really do. And we like having yeah. you here because you really break it down yeah. in a way that we can understand. Um, you are the Associate Vice President of Continuing Distance Education and NJIT, Dr. Gail Tenen Spock. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Stay with us. One on one. We'll be right back right after this. That was interesting. One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by New Jersey Credit Unions, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, PSE&G, the law firm of Gibbons PC, Activus, in cooperation with the American Medicine Chest Challenge, and by Cone Resnick. Promotional support provided by the Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by NJ Biz, all business, all New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.